Hi, I'm Dr. Matthew Weiner. I'm a weight loss surgeon as well as a nutrition expert and also the author of the book A Pound of Cure. And I'm here to talk to you about a question that I um, ask very frequently in my practice as it relates to bariatric surgery and that's about alcohol use after surgery. There really has been a tremendous amount of discussion about alcohol use uh, and the term that's, cough, that's often thrown around is transfer addiction with the idea being that patients preoperatively were addicted to food and then through the anatomy of the surgery are somehow blocked from fulfilling this addiction and then switch to other foods. What we're starting to learn as we get further uh, along with our experience in bariatric surgery is that this is probably not the best uh, ex explanation of what's going on. We've tended to always relate eating to eating in terms of emotional sense and, and our personal drive. And as we study this more and more, we're starting to learn that, that our personal drive and our emotional state is probably a relatively minor component. And most of what, what we're seeing with these surgeries is physiologic. And I think when we start to look at alcohol use after surgery, we're finding these same things. Studying alcoholism is very hard after surgery. It's hard because first of all, it's a sensitive topic and very few patients will bring this information up um, uh, willingly uh, and, and tend to only be asked if they're questioned or if there's some adverse event that occurs related to their, to their alcohol use, either a, a, a DUI or uh, an adverse health event related to alcohol. Um, and it's also very hard to measure for the same reasons. People um, will certainly uh, stretch the truth about their alcohol use and, and a general rule of thumb in medicine is whatever frequency a patient tells you they drink every day or every week, you double it to get the actual amount. I'm not sure that that's absolutely true, but it certainly um, implies that, the, that what patients will tell you and what's actually going on at home may be two different things. Um, but whatever it is, um, this is very difficult. We also find very high rates of alcoholism preoperatively, uh, much higher actually than the general population in patients undergoing bariatric surgery. And so it's very difficult to distinguish is this alcohol problem that we're seeing after surgery just a slight or progressive worsening of a preoperative problem or is it brand new and coming out of nowhere? So in order to kind of address this very difficult topic, let's first start with some of the things that we do know. And if you've been watching my videos, you recognize um, how important I believe it is for patients to understand the physiology or the changes to their body that occur after surgery. And I think one critical thing that is beyond doubt that this has been proven time and time uh, again is that a gastric bypass procedure specifically increases your body's sensitivity to alcohol. And many patients will tell you this that after surgery one drink of alcohol and they really are feeling very intoxicated where before surgery it might have been two or three drinks to feel that same level. Um, and when, when we look at the, the data and we do scientific studies on patients who have had a gastric bypass what we find is that before gastric bypass surgery, when you drink alcohol, usually there's a relatively slow uptake, a delay in onset of 30 minutes or more before you start to have elevated blood alcohol levels and start to feel some of the symptoms of, of, of alcohol. And then it will kind of gradually go up and then nice and gradually go down. What we see after gastric bypass is, first of all, a much more rapid onset. So the immediate delivery of the alcohol into the intestines, as you see with gastric bypass, is going to cause a more rapid absorption. We see a sharper incline, and it actually goes higher and stays higher for a longer period of time. And for this reason, you will essentially get drunk faster, get more drunk, and stay drunk longer after a gastric bypass procedure. And I warn all of my female patients that one drink alone is enough to put you over the, the legal limit for driving under the influence in your state. So after a gastric bypass procedure, women patients in particular, because they tend to be more susceptible, but really all gastric bypass patients, you should have a zero tolerance for drinking and driving. You do not drink any alcoholic beverages if you're going to be operating a car later um, that day. 
And that is a critical, critical point because there, it can be so devastating uh, financially, emotionally, professionally, uh, that we have to recognize the, the changes that occur physiologically and its potential impact on your life. As I kind of talk to patients, you're coming to see me for bariatric surgery so I can make your life better, not worse. And, and developing a problem with alcohol or, a, um, or getting a DUI after surgery is certainly um, something that is going to make your life worse. Another thing we find, and I'm really starting to counsel my patients on aggressively, is that preoperative problems with alcohol are probably our best predictor of postoperative problems. And so now, particularly when I'm talking to gastric bypass patients, we're discussing their, their relationship with alcohol, whether they have a tendency um, toward overuse or abuse, whether there's any f uh, familial tendencies. If both of your parents were alcoholic, that's to me a risk factor that we have to think long and hard and discuss the role that alcohol will play in your life after surgery. But I think our best indicator, the, the, the thing we should pay the most attention to, is any preoperative problem. So if already preoperatively you have a question about uh, your tendency to, to overuse or abuse alcohol, then this is something that it has to be discussed with your surgeon and you have to very, be very careful when you consider your procedure choice because we don't see the same thing with the sleeve gastrectomy that we do with a gastric bypass. It's the gastric bypass patients that are clearly the most likely to have uh, issues after surgery. We've seen this in the, in the statistics. It's pretty clear and widely accepted at this point. Now, this does not mean, as I'll show you later, that every gastric bypass patient has a problem with alcohol. It's still a very small percent, less than 5%. However, we're seeing it. It's real, and I think we have to be addressing it up front rather than waiting for the problems to occur and then, oh, yeah, sometimes that happens. The evidence on the sleeve is, is unclear. We do know that the sleeve causes a more rapid emptying of your stomach, and so we will see a slight increase, but we're not delivering the alcohol to the mid portion of the intestine the way we are with a gastric bypass. So we, we do see some changes with the sleeve, but they're less pronounced. We don't see that one drink putting you over the legal limit typically with a sleeve gastrectomy. Um, and in my mind, in a patient who has uh, grave concerns about their pre-existing relationship with alcohol and wants to ensure that this doesn't get worse, that a sleeve gastrectomy is absolutely going to be the better procedure. What we're seeing after gastric bypass procedure, based on the best evidence that I can find, is that somewhere between 3 to 5% of all post gastric bypass patients will develop new onset alcohol problem. This is not a worsening of a pre-existing problem, but a patient who relatively had, had really minimal to no issues with alcohol use may have kind of enjoyed a drink, but certainly never felt like they were overusing or abusing it. We'll see three to five percent of those patients develop um, um, an, uh, an alcohol uh, use problem. Uh, and of course, there's a huge spectrum from the patients who are in doing 30-day inpatient rehab stays to those who really just kind of find um, that they have to moderate this on their own, and if they're not careful, they can get into a lot of trouble. So in terms of some guidelines for alcohol use after surgery, the first is I, I think that, that all patients should abstain from drinking any alcohol for at least three months, ideally six months. The second is that we want to avoid sugary mixed drinks. That's really not because of the alcohol problem, but because of dumping syndrome. And of course, because these are essentially sugar sweetened beverages, which if you've watched any of my videos, you know these are the most fattening substances on the planet. We want to avoid beer as well, although it doesn't, they, some beers do have sugar, but it still has a lot of carbohydrate in liquid form, which is, um, which is not ideal. Red wine is the best choice, followed by a non-sugary mixed drink like a vodka and club soda or something along those lines is your next best choice. So I think those are some reasonable guidelines um, that, that you should um, follow after, after any bariatric surgery. Um, but even more important than that, I think it's, it's critical that you recognize that after surgery you are at increased risk for developing an alcohol use problem and that you have to become mindful of your relationship with alcohol. And if you identify some problems early, then you can intervene and perhaps not get to the point where it starts to take over and cause major changes or, or problems in your life. Um, and I think if you have any doubt about this, if you have had bariatric surgery and you find that alcohol really uh, is more appealing to you than it ever was before surgery, then abstinence is without question your best best uh, approach. And I think that anyone going into this surgery 
should be willing, if necessary, to completely abstain from alcohol for the rest of your life uh, in order to prevent this totally devastating problem. Again, you're having the surgery to make your life better and to make you healthier. And if you end up with an alcohol use problem, I can assure you that that is not what will happen. Even if you are 100 pounds lighter, if you have an alcohol use problem, your quality of life will decrease significantly, your relationships will deteriorate, and in the end, we'll look back at the, your choice to have bariatric surgery as a huge mistake, and that's exactly what we don't want to happen. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got a lot of videos about life after bariatric surgery, as well as just um, uh, a, a, a new approach to, to weight loss in general, um, or visit our website. Thank you.